Hey my beautiful angel, it's Josie Grouse and welcome to Soul Awakening channel. Today we are going to talk about the energy of the upcoming new moon, March 21st. And it's not just the moon, it's the equinox. There's so many things are happening all at the same time. Shifts, transitions, changes in energy. So if you are mindful, if you're paying attention, you'll know. It's not just somewhere out there in the sky. These changes are actually happening in us. They are physical. They are emotional. They are affecting us. And what's within, so without. We also see the world reflecting to us these changes. There's so, so many things are happening right here and right now. So let's talk about five specific energy points for us to know, for us to be aware of during this beautiful new moon equinox time. So number one, expect the unexpected. Things may not work out exactly how you planned. Release the plan. Be more flexible. When you are just so focused, moving forward in one direction, I want things to be this way. I want things to be very predictable, calculated. Nah, -uh, not this time. Allow magic really to happen. You have no idea what is waiting for you literally within five minutes when you think about it being open to unexpected welcome the unknown that's how you begin to build courage that's how you build your inner power life is constantly awakening you to better possibilities and if you're just so fixed on one thing you may not see a hundred different amazing opportunities that are waiting for you so open your mind be more flexible do not resist change every time you feel okay there's resistance building people showing up on your path and they're trying to talk you out of taking action and you will be like no 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 i've decided i made up my mind i'm going to go head on well listen this time listen because the universe is talking to you, pay very close attention to the signs. Pay very close attention to subtle signs that are constantly being thrown on your path. Could be repeating numbers. Conversations that you may just randomly pick up from a public place and you'll be like, these people, like they're talking amongst themselves, but like, it's for me. I need to hear this conversation. Something is happening. So release your need to be strongly willed. Okay. Willpower release. Like let this experience, let the universe show you. And it may not be just butterflies and roses. It may feel scary for a while, but for you, it's to release the worry release the attachments and go with the flow resistance release release and see what happens so that's first and very important thing to remember about this new moon energy number two what you need to know is to shift your focus again we're just bringing everything together shift your focus from doing many things from being excited about too many things and work on one project one project it could be you or maybe you're in school right now but you also have other things on your mind such as I don't know maybe you go date or maybe you want to go travel focus on one thing because energy is everything where you put your focus where you put your energy that's where you will see real results so instead of having hundred different things instead of multitasking relax and then start really thinking what's the most important thing for me to do right now okay say no to the rest it's okay just say say no not for now and focus on things less is more the energy game 
when you really play the energy game with the world, the world is going to try to take all of your energy. All of your energy, the systems of the world are designed to drain you of your vitality, of your energy. And you'll see being pulled in many different directions. And at the end of the day, you will not have even that energy to pursue the important thing. You know what I mean? So we all have that, all of us. If you are alive in this physical world, the systems are going to put you in situations to give you options, to make you make hundreds of decisions. So make one, choose one, do not multitask, focus on essential things. Okay, let's move on and let's talk about number three. You will find a return to the old ways of being. What do I mean by that? Sometime around the end of March, something from the past and a trend that used to be popular is going to be is going to return and it's very individual for you it's not going to be like a global thing when like the 80s music or a return of the mtv none of that but what you will see in this in this pattern of sort of cycles of life, you will see that the old things are actually coming back. And one of the ways for you to look at these old ways is to remember, you, you may feel, okay, an old song, a song that I used to like is just on my mind lately. <laughs> That's just for you to go back to that time and see what what was really happening then? What was popular? What was important? Because the old is coming back and it's not going to be in the same way, but the building blocks, the energies, the systems of these old structures are actually going to come back and you will benefit if you look into these old patterns. Now, let me give you an example of these old patterns. Let's say before, you know, now these days we, we call rarely, right? We just don't reach out people through the phone. But we do texting, any other way, whatever, social media. So the old way of doing things that is going to return is maybe calling people. Start calling people a friend, call your friend, or something from the past that was so important but maybe forgotten reinvented okay do not try to come up with brilliant new things but reinvent the old because old ways they were tried and true so look maybe meditate see what was really working in the past and how you can start implementing these past patterns into your life today that's a very important and planning for the future has to be coming from reinvention of some kind of patterns and behaviors that you have already gone through that you have already experienced now it's a, it's a next level it's the next level and all that future that you will see coming is just well crafted past trends of the past will be coming back so that's that number four don't mind the disagreements there will be some disagreements something that you will see amongst people and even people your closest friends relationships all of a sudden they're like they're not happy <laughs> they've been a little bit argumentative and you find yourself people for no reason make change moods or they may just become a little resentful so instead of trying to create pictures in your mind or really think what have i done wrong i don't remember having an argument why these individuals are so upset all of a sudden it's nothing to do with you it's actually the transition of the energy people if they are triggered they're triggered by their past emotions they're triggered by some stuff that they're still fighting emotionally 
on the inside and not visible to you so instead of judging them instead of just being responsive with negativity it's more about okay i don't know what is what is going on with you but i'm just i'm going to stand to my truth feel good release you from putting your worries upon me or your anger upon me i will not sign up to that but i'm not going to suffer because you are worrying so if you find yourself other people are pulling you into disagreements it's because wherever they are they're going through some of these emotional releases it may actually happen to you all of a sudden we feel like anger it's like all of a sudden you're walking and it's beautiful and sun is shining and the birds are singing and then all of a sudden it's like bam it's like remembering an episode somebody said something you like oh I'm just so mad all of this blissful stage is vanished do not do that it is the past it is something that was stuck in your body for a long long time it's now just coming to the surface it's like observe that and release that if you see other people suffering in this way also suggest them okay let this worry let this anxiety release it let it go and expect expect miracles expect miracles expect blessings expect that whatever needs to go will go no resistance just releasing and finally this is a very interesting time for you to experience psychic dreams and psychic abilities many of you will remember this dream of a great flood of a great flood maybe sometime even in atlantis or any of these lost civilizations but you will all of a sudden be brought to memories that you don't even have the history for them they were before their recorded history and all of a sudden you're remembering that time so it's really interesting and trust these memories they're telling you something they're helping you to remember something from your past so when you when you give your soul a permission to put you on that time path where you lived before and things that you've experienced then emotions that you felt then it may give you some clues to your life now to your struggles in this body now things that are happening in your life right now all of the fears that you have right now and if you have certain phobias such as fear of deep water maybe in the past life you will you will remember that a past life was that drowning when you just you just released and you know the deep water was mm -hmm the final way for you to exit this planet and that's how you get so triggered every time you experience these memories so remember that it will happen this new moon is going to open you up to these to these possibilities in these memories so five things for you to know about this awesome really phenomenal new moon energy around the equinox it's always magical it's always like I am going to manifest incredible things. I'm going to create so much magic and life is supposed to be magical. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification button. I make videos here every day so you get notified and keep the magic flowing.